with over 29 million pets across Australia, uh, we love animals. So for many of us, parting with our fur babies, even if you're going on a holiday, it's really hard. Well, veterinarian, <laughs> let's just say vet, Dr Katrina Warren is here with some pet-friendly travel ideas. Hello, Katrina. Great Hi, Chilly Boy. Good morning. Good um, morning. What are some of the best holiday spots to take your pet to? Okay, there's a lot of camping and caravanning spots these days that are pet-friendly. You just have to check online first. And, of course, now you can get Airbnbs anywhere you want to go. You can just hop on and a lot of them are pet-friendly. And these days now there are loads of high-end hotels. There's boutique hotels and a lot of the hotels have got pet packages. Yeah, I saw, we did that once, like, early in the year just to sort of have a little getaway with the kids. It was really fun. So how should then... How do you prepare for a holiday with your pet? Yeah, a little bit of planning, particularly if you're doing a road trip. Mm. So you want to go to your vet and get a full vet checkup. It's a good idea just before you go and make sure all your things are up to date, your vaccinations, worming, uh, flea control. Really important, no matter where you go, to make sure you've got current ID tag because a lot of pets get, go missing or yeah. they might panic and, and run off. And make sure your microchip details are up to date. Um, and then take a few of your pet's home comforts as well. So I always recommend packing your own food uh, because you don't know if you're going to be able to get that where you're going. OK, taking them with us is an always an option. So what if you're going to leave them at home? Okay, so this people need to get organised now. We've yeah. had this big increase in pet ownership and not necessarily the same increase in pet sitters and pet carers. So start with family and friends. You may have someone that would love to move into your house and look after your pets or that you can drop them off. Um, you can look at pet sitters. There's some great apps now where you can book people online but you want to obviously check all of their um, references and things like that. I'm a big fan of leaving cats at home. But there's also... And getting someone to look after them. And there's also boarding facilities. Um, are the boarding facilities good? Like little hound hotels? They can be amazing, they, but I, I say to people, go and check the facility and make sure you're comfortable with uh, the conditions of the facility. You want it to be clean, you want them to welcome you, you want to be confident yeah. that your pets are going to be well looked after. And, look, they can be stressful for some pets and other pets cruise through it. Well, talk us through that. We just had some dots on the dot points on the screen there about when it is a good idea to leave your pet at home, depending on their needs. Yeah, look, I think with cats, cats, most cats prefer to be left at home. I do know some cats that uh, transport quite well into to accommodation but and and some animals dogs have you know specific care and what have you so mm. i think if you want to travel somewhere where there's national parks you need to leave them at home mm. um if your pet is oh. anxious in the car a lot of pets oh you want to go that way you can go that oh, way Julie. did i hold you back go on go on oh, there you go hello, buddy. <laughs> yeah, i'll um, take a cuddle <gasps> oh handshake but yeah you know you, most formal. people know if their pets aren't comfortable he loves a road trip does Scully love a road trip? Scully likes a road trip. When she gets there, she sits in the back, though. Yeah, and some pets do panic and some pets are really uncomfortable. And that, in, in those situations, it's probably better and safer to keep them at home. Great. Okay. All right, look, there's some advice. really good stuff there. Chilly, he can go anywhere. <laughs> he can Posing. Go. He He's such a poser. He insists on going everywhere. Like I love that about Chilly, though. Katrina, good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank